Right now, we begin once again with breaking news. A 10-year-old shot by an 8-year-old relative. Well, this happened about 10 o'clock this morning. In the Eyewitness News. All right, Rob, thanks. The Chicago Skyway is once again back in business. It was closed in both directions because of all the blowing construction debris. It has since reopened. Eyewitness News reporter John Garcia joins us live from the Chicago Skyway with more details now. John. John Garcia, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. We'll send it back to you. All right, John, thanks so much. It is windy out there. That high wind advisory still in effect. Meteorologist Cheryl Scott here now with more on what we can expect both tonight and tomorrow. Hi, Cheryl. And unfortunately, the winds aren't going to back down anytime soon. We're still tracking the windy conditions. The driveway, Linda. So we know what happens after these kinds of wind storms. ComEd crews have been out today working to restore power to the thousands of uh, businesses and homes left in the dark after last night's storms. More than 50 in order to report an outage. Plenty of questions still to be answered after someone found the body of a newborn girl in front of an uptown apartment building. The scene is just to the NBA team. It's a big concern for pilots, and now there were more than 20 incidents last night of someone pointing lasers at planes and helicopters, and one of them involved a chopper from our sister station in New York. Even caused temporary blindness. Overseas, a major battle today in the war against the Islamic State in Iraq. Here's the quote, an error in judgment. That's what Bloomingdale's now is calling its controversial ad that some have said encourages date rape. It's part of a newly released... It's not always helps, though. It makes it feel a little bit sure does. better outside. Because today, boy, from the 60s yesterday to not even yeah. making it to 50 degrees today, we're dealing and battling with the high winds and, of course, the chill in the air. So how long will this last? To bring us rain midweek next week. But we'll enjoy that weekend. <laughs> The stars of the new Rocky movie have a red carpet event at a Chicago high school. I would just news reporter Janet Davies is in the South Loop. That's where the students just got a taste of showbiz on a school day. Janet. Well, Linda, Jones College Prep went Hollywood today. The Creed tour was on this red carpet. Creed is the latest Rocky film in the franchise. So what happened here just a short time ago was a movie promotion and a social justice project all rolled into one. So to be able to do a film with Sly is, uh, is pretty incredible. Now see this guy here? Yes, he also co-stars in the film, but he passed on Chicago. By the way, that film franchise, Rocky, has earned over $1 billion worldwide in box office. Creed, by the way, opens November 25th. In the South Loop, Janet Davies, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Alan, Linda, back to you. All right, Janet, thanks. Now still ahead here on Eyewitness News, another skydiver left hanging. And now we turn to some other breaking news that's happening on the city's southwest side. A woman attacked there by a dog. This was in the 2300 block of South Whipple. It's in the city's Little Village neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Leah Hope joins us live. She's at Mount Sinai Hospital. The victim is being treated there now. Leah? We understand that this woman is now in surgery, suffering from several bite wounds. Relatives tell us she is in critical condition. Please don't get him off at all. I don't know what's going to happen now. Chicago police tell us that the mother dog was taken away by animal care and control. It's not clear what happened to her puppies. Again, this 34-year-old woman here at Mount Sinai Hospital in surgery in critical condition after being attacked by a family pet. We are live at Mount Sinai. Leah Hope, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Back to you in the studio. All right, Leah, thanks. Now, quick check on the weather. Strong winds. They're continuing to blow here in the Chicago area. However, we do have some good news for commuters. Carol, thank you. Disgraced former House Speaker Dennis Hastert has an honorary degree from Northern Illinois. Today, there's a call to revoke that recognition. The survivors... ...with some party leaders. Back to that criminal case, LaShondra Peebles and her mother were released on their own recognizance. All right, Charles. In West Suburban Aurora, but they could not revive him. Drone users may be facing some new city regulations when they fly their machines over the city of Chicago. Aldermen have considered, among other things, that drone users must register and also pay an annual fee. Eyewitness News reporter Sarah Schulte has more. The pastor's wife is shot to death during an apparent robbery at her home in Indianapolis. She and her husband had just announced that they were expecting their second child. David Rock to save one of his wife. 
New York police are calling him a career criminal. A man was taken into custody last night, and he has a history of stealing city buses and trains. This have adopted healthier menus. Caitlyn Jenner visited Chicago today, visiting with members of the city's LGBT community, also pushing her own new reality show. Eyewitness News reporter Robbie Batewell has more on Jenner's visit. ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Time for an update on our weather forecast now. We'll take a look outside first from the top of the Hancock Center. Looking out over the city's north side and the lakefront, I believe we do have it. There it is there behind it is. us, Linda, actually. Yeah, How about that? I'm looking out here for it, and it's right there. <laughs> okay. And it looks pretty good for the rain we've been for next week. Mm, all right. We'll get over this, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to enjoy this. All right. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, Jim is here with a look at sports now. And, Jr. the Hawks are looking for some revenge here. Oh, yeah. Uh, a couple nights ago. And they sure need Joe for his defense, because that's not what they're playing so far this season. Yeah. All right, Jim. Thanks. When we come right back, a Florida. A very valuable puppy goes missing from a Florida pet shop. And the owner's saying he was shocked by what he saw on their surveillance video. As well. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a look at what's trending on our website, abc7chicago.com. Guy died. Daughter. Nice gift. Wow. <laughs> Hard to believe that. Now Eyewitness News continues at 5 o'clock. Here's Ron and Cheryl. All right. Thank you, Lyndon. Allen. coming up next here on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. Strong wind still blowing through the Chicago area tonight. Great.